Hi guys, so I hope you're all doing great and uh, I'd like to show you something uh, really interesting, okay? You know, uh, I was always uh, amazed by the number of things that are actually possible to do with the deck of cards. And what's even more fascinating one was actually the number of different techniques that are actually employed by card cheats to cheat at cards. And what's interesting is that although there are uh, literally hundreds of different methods, ultimately it all comes down to controlling cards. The more cards you can control, the more edge you can actually give yourself. And at the same time, controlling just a couple of cards can make uh, a huge difference. So uh, I like to give you an example for uh, each end of the spectrum. So before I do that, uh, it's important that you know that the deck is indeed shuffled, okay? And it's also uh, a regular deck that you might find in uh, any of the card games. These things are important uh, when it comes to demonstrating these kind of things, you know. Only then uh, you will actually know how far these things can actually be taken. And I will use the uh, four kings, okay. I will try to control uh, four kings. Now, first of all, I need to get them uh, to the top of the deck, but uh, oh, the uh, opportunity for that arises uh, during a game when the cards are all face up. And uh, also there are the other uh, techniques as well, but for now, let's just uh, focus on what can be done after the cards are uh, on top. Actually, I will show you a method uh, that you can use uh, in your own uh, private games, you know. So if you have any uh, friend who also always uh, brag about being able to win and all, I will show you something that you can use on them. And uh, there is actually one important uh, prerequisite uh, and that is you need to be able to shuffle uh, like this, the overhand shuffle. This is the way most people shuffle and it's also a very common way of shuffling in most of the private games. And if you can shuffle like that, uh, then you can actually uh, do this okay so uh, to make things easier for you to follow I will uh, leave them face up on top and it's all about the formula so uh, listen carefully run one throw undercut about half enjoy the top card run one two three four one two three four cards of the next card and shuffle off cut at the out joke take a break at the in joke run one two three four cards and throw run one enjoy the next card one two three four five six seven eight cards of the next card and shuffle off Cut at the in joke, cut at the out joke, run 1, 2, 3, 4 cards and throw. Now cut exactly 25 cards and complete the cut. That's all it takes. All that remains uh, is to uh, deal out the cards and you will get the kings. Now some people think that I was actually uh, joking but no. You get uh, all 4 of the kings. And that's what you can do by controlling just 4 cards. But uh, now that you know this, uh, make sure that you use it uh, wisely. But let me just show you what can be accomplished by controlling uh, all 52 cards. But of course, uh, to control 52 cards, you need to be in a game where all uh, 52 cards are actually involved. That doesn't necessarily happen uh, in uh, poker, but it does happen in certain games like, uh, like the bridge. So uh, we will use the premise uh, of a bridge game to show you what can be accomplished by controlling just uh, actually controlling all 52 cards but before I do that uh, obviously you shuffled at the beginning but uh, I want you to shuffle this one more time just so that uh, make sure that the all the cards are well and truly mixed so uh, they can actually shuffle like this anyway they want the reason I do this because uh, most people accuse me of uh, resetting the cards uh, using trick text now uh, that's why most of the time I only do this with uh, a borrow deck. But anyway, uh, before I can actually control the cards, I need to memorize the position of all uh, 52 cards. So uh, this will take about uh, 20 seconds, okay? So 20 seconds and uh, 52 cards. Now I will actually cheat uh, just a little bit because uh, the thing is that I shouldn't actually be talking while I'm uh, doing this, okay? Because it's something that requires uh, a lot of uh, concentration. But I am talking so I might actually take uh, well more than uh, 20 seconds but uh, I think I can actually uh, manage it. Okay, I think I done it. But that was the easy part. Now comes the uh, hard part. I said uh, the bridge came, right? Now the bridge is actually played with uh, exactly uh, 4 players. Uh, it's not a very popular game in India. But it's a very interesting game and each player actually receives 13 cards each. And unlike most of the other uh, card games, in bridge, uh, the suits have ranks. The uh, spade is the uh, highest ranking suit, followed by uh, the uh, hearts, diamonds and clubs. And the best hand uh, one can actually get 
in a bridge. He is actually uh, all 13 of the sway cards falling to uh, one hand. But the odds of getting uh, such a hand is actually uh, 150 billion to 1. Now that is uh, more than 100 times bigger than what it takes to win the lottery. Actually, uh, there was actually a guy in uh, Sweden who would spend uh, 6 to 8 hours a day shuffling and dealing bridge hands waiting for such a hand to fall and uh, it never came. And that is because he was doing it fairly obviously. If he knew how to manipulate the odds then he might as well end up with uh, a hand that consists of all 13 of the spade. And uh, if he could uh, do that then it might as well have looked something like uh, this with the old 13 spade falling to one hand and uh, lucky for me for some reason uh, it happens to be my coincidence right but I know what you're thinking I said I would control uh, all 52 cards and uh, this is just the uh, 13 uh, spade cards actually I have controlled uh, all 52 cards because uh, I have given this player all 13 of the clubs this player all 30 of the diamonds and uh, I gave my partner the second highest ranking suit all 30 of the hearts and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.